Setting a passcode on your iPhone is a fantastic way to protect your data from prying eyes. However, maybe you forgot your iPhone password, or your child changed your iPhone password without telling you. And after you keep trying the wrong password, you are locked out of your iPhone eventually. To fix this annoying issue, you have no choice but to reset your iPhone without password. In this video we will introduce you four ways to reset iPhone without password. Including Erase iPhone, Recovery Mode, Find My, in iCloud, or effective third-party tools like iPhone Unlocker, you can choose the right method according to your specific situation. Note that factory resetting will erase all the contents in your iPhone. But don't worry, if you have backed up your iPhone data before, you can restore your deleted data from the backup after the reset is over. If you want to factory reset iPhone without passcode, using Erase iPhone might be a feasible choice for you. Nevertheless, some conditions need to be fulfilled to use this method. For one thing, your iPhone should run iOS 15.2 or later, for another, it should be connected to network through Wi-Fi or cellular data beforehand. Keep entering the wrong password until your screen shows the warning iPhone unavailable or iPhone security lockout. At the same time, an Erase iPhone option will appear in the bottom right corner of the screen. Tap on the Erase iPhone option and go to the Erase All Contents and Settings page. Then continue to tap the Erase iPhone option. And follow the prompts to enter your Apple ID password to sign out of your Apple account. It will eventually get erased after the steps, and you can set up your iPhone from the beginning. When you follow the on-screen instructions to set up your iPhone, if you come to the Apps and Data step, you can choose to recover your lost data from iCloud or computer. With the help of iTunes or Finder, you can use recovery mode to factory reset an iPhone without password. If you're running macOS Catalina or newer, open Finder. If you're running macOS Mojave or older or Windows, open the latest verso of iTunes. First, turn off your iPhone and connect it to the computer. Then, put your iPhone into recovery mode using the correct button combination. Note that different iPhone models have different ways to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, you should quickly press and release the volume up button and the volume down button in sequence, then keep holding the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, you should long press the volume down button and the side button at the same time, then only release when the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, you should hold on to both the home button and the side button, don't let go before you see the recovery mode screen. Open iTunes or Finder on your computer. Once your iPhone is detected, you will be prompted with a message asking if you want to update or restore. Click on Restore option. When the next window pops up to confirm your selection, choose the Restore and Update option. Once you follow the prompts to complete the selection, the reset process will begin. After the reset is complete, you can set up your iPhone from scratch, or choose to restore a backup from your computer or iCloud during the setup process. Maybe you will not be able to reset your iPhone without password because of the limitations of the first two methods. Then a third-party tool iPhone Unlocker will work perfectly for you to factory reset your iPhone without a password. It can easily and quickly help you reset your iPhone, no password required and no technical requirements, just a few mouse clicks to finish. Here we'll walk you through the steps to reset your iPhone without password in this way. First, after downloading and installing iPhone Unlocker, launch it on your computer. Then select the white passcode option on the main menu, and click, Start, on the next page. Plug your iPhone into the computer, and make it enter recovery mode according to the tips in the link of, device is connected but not recognized. After your iPhone is recognized, you need to confirm the information of your iPhone. Then click, Start. Immediately an iOS software will start to download. Once the download is finished, enter, 0000, and click, Unlock, to confirm to start the reset process. 
When it's over, you can regain access to your iPhone. Then you can set up your iPhone as a brand new phone or restore data from a backup. Using Find My in iCloud is another great way to reset your iPhone without passcode. If you choose this method, please note that Find My feature needs to be turned on previously in your iPhone. And your phone should have an available internet connection. First, go to iCloud.com website on your computer and sign into iCloud with your Apple credentials. Then you will see a map showing where all your devices are located. Click on All Devices on the top of the page and choose the locked iPhone. Select the Erase iPhone option in a small pop-up box. Then click on Erase option in the next pop-up box to confirm. Soon your locked iPhone will start the factory resetting process. When it's finished, your iPhone will restart like it's brand new and you will be allowed to set it up from scratch. But sometimes you want to reset your iPhone because it is running slow or the memory is full. It's easier to reset your phone when you know the password. You can go to Settings and tap General Option. Then select Transfer or Reset iPhone from the General Pages menu. Next, tap Erase All Content and Settings to perform a complete reset of your iPhone. After entering your Apple ID passcode to turn off Find My and Activation Lock, you'll be asked to confirm that you want to delete everything. Then tap Erase iPhone option. Depending on the size of your iPhone storage, this process could take a while, but once it's done, your iPhone will reset to its factory settings and reboot as if it were brand new. Hope this video can help you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and learn more about how to unlock iPhone. If you have more questions about iPhone unavailable or unlocking iPhone, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.